But today we're going to do the high pressure grout injection from the dungeon or crawl space. All right, everybody, stay tuned. All right, so here we are in the dungeon. Yes, We're getting sir. ready to fix this crack with our, what's it called again? The, the high pressure polyurethane grout injection. There you go, that's what's up. So it's my fault. <laughs> we're prepping the tools, we're pre prepping the equipment. He's going to drill some holes next to the crack, 45 degree angle into the crack, and then he'll start shooting it. So here we go. Doing there? We're doing a pre-mixing of uh, two components. Uh, we got uh, we got two materials. One's made for expansion. One made for flexibility. But we get the best of both worlds, so we do a four-part mix. We have two activators here. You didn't get to see the two other buckets I got over there. But once this stuff hits uh, any kind of moisture in the air or water, it just starts reacting and sponging out seeing up all the cracks and holes and voids in your foundation wall hit me up jhu channel at gmail.com if you're in the chicagoland area and you need this service i will get you in contact with my man and uh we will try to help you out again he does not dig he does not tear up drywall just like in this instance here i show him where the crack is he comes and he fixes it end of story he'll clean the wall at the end also nice and clean all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna begin drilling the holes and then we'll put on the fittings and then we'll spray the grout Why are we putting water in the hole again? It uh, kind of loop uh, the material to start expanding. Expanding out. That's what's up. You got your ratchet. And if you guys need, uh, want to see the fittings and whatnot, check out our other video, my other video. And uh, you can see it there. I have to change the fitting. Yeah. Change that real quick. Old cover. So that one went bad, huh? Yeah. Got gunked up? They uh, clog up in the front, so you gotta replace them. Alright. How's the new one look? Show me new the new one. one real quick. Nice and brand new. There it is. Alright. Let's take that. It. Connect. Give it a couple of seconds, it starts expanding. You can already see it, it already came out the whole footing. It already made it up the crack just a little bit. Right here, you can see it bubbling already. Oh yeah. So he drilled it, what are you, about a couple inches maybe away from that crack? Yeah, let's see, about an inch and a half. Right, we gotta do that all the way up. We keep chasing and feeding all the way up to the surfaces on the top. Sure, that is high pressure grout injection at its finest. That crack is now sealed. It's sealed from the footing all the way through up the wall, and this method will prevent any further water from leaking in. So I've just discovered another small issue. 
these vents, there's three of them that are located on the outside of my house, are supposed to allow the crawl space to breathe. Well, some knucklehead decided to cover them with insulation and would look to be like a piece of wood from the inside. So that could also be a, a huge problem of why there's so much moisture and humidity in my crawl space. No bueno. So it's open free, it's breathing now. So hopefully all that uh, humidity and moisture can now escape, hopefully. Here's the second one that was blocked that is now open. So now the crawl space can hopefully breathe properly. And here is vent number three is now open. The bad thing about these is that the handle has broken off and I cannot close them. So I'm going to have to figure out who sells them, where I can get them from and replace them. Hopefully they have uh, something a little bit better than this that would kind of help the uh, cold air not get into the crawl space. But I gotta figure something out. If you guys can help me out, leave some comments, some ideas for products that you may be using. The high pressure grout injection has blown out the hydraulic cement that I used. So I guess it's okay because now I have protection, but uh, I guess my guy was right. He told me not to put the hydraulic cement, but I was already in the middle of the project. So I figured I'd do it. And worst case scenario, if it blew it out, it blew it out. But at least now I know it's gone all the way through that eight inch foundation wall to the outside so now I know that I'm protected and I'm good to go that stuff's amazing wow um I'm shocked I'm shocked because that was I'm I'm, I'm hurt I'm I'm devastated but at the same time I'm relieved um if I would have found this guy before I dug up the side of my house and made a mess of my yard, which I still believe was okay because I now have that foam and that foam has a vapor barrier, but my hydraulic cement that I put down and the, um, and the foundation sealer, I guess that it blew right through the uh, hydraulic cement. So wow that stuff's powerful so yeah i guess you don't have to take up the side of your house i mean i got the extra protection but man this it's a good product and um thank goodness i didn't pay thousands of dollars to have the side of my house dug up and uh, wow I'm, I'm i'm impressed by that stuff but at the same time I'm, i almost feel like i wasted my time but like i said I got another layer of protection, uh, as you can see behind me, and I still have to trench out and run the rainwater away from the house. So, um, did I waste my time digging this up or was it okay that I put that styrofoam at least, the vapor barrier? Um, the foam, the grout injection came up between the, the foundation wall and the styrofoam, so I know it didn't blow past the styrofoam or the uh, Artec, I believe it's called. All right, guys. Don't forget, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And thanks again to the 100 who are now part of the Hu Tang Clan family. Don't forget, throw up that W, baby. All right, everybody. See you later. Peace.